We stand as we prepare to confess our faith, the words of the Nicene Creed. And uh, uh, after the prayer of the church, uh, we sing the offertory. I'd encourage you, if you're able, to remain standing for that because we go right into the service of the sacrament. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy for the house of the Lord, that it may be a house of prayer and we a people of prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For the church, that she may steadfastly proclaim the irrevocable gifts of God and calling of God, that the disobedient may receive mercy, and that those who hear may become branches grafted into the true vine. And we pray for our sister congregation, Williamstown Lutheran Church, as they continue in the call process. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all honest work and occupations and our good use of the fruits of our labors, for generosity toward those in need, and for tithes and offerings that accompany our sacrifice of praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the government and those who protect us, that they may keep justice and do righteousness carrying out their duties in accord with God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For the sick and afflicted, those beset with grief and sorrow, pain and any trouble, especially this day we pray for Gail and Fred, we pray for Braden, we pray for Bill, we pray for all those affected by fire and storms. that the Lord would be pleased to answer their cries for the sake of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With thanks for God's blessing through family and friends that grant help to us in our times of need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For those who are about to receive Christ's body and blood from this altar, that these crumbs may strengthen us in faith and love, united with God and neighbor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Hear us, Heavenly Father, for the sake of Christ Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We offer our gifts as we sing the offer.
service of the sacrament page 160 the lord be with you and also with you lift up your hearts we lift them to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right to give him thanks and it is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who having created all things, took on human flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake he died on the cross and rose from the dead to put an end to death, thus fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed are you, O Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and his blood on the cross. Gathered in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast in the Lamb of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way, also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Amen. Come, Amen. Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.